Hello, my friends. So today we will learn how we will solve logarithm equation. We have two different types of logarithm equations. So we will do this five problems. So step one, we will check. We have each term, they are logarithm or we have logarithm and constant mixed up. So let's learn that how we will check. We have log equal log equation or log equal constant. We have both type of equation. We have different steps. So that is very, very important. How we will check we have log equal log equation or log equal constant. So here, first one we have, see we have logarithm term, we have logarithm term, and then we have constant here by itself. So first equation we have is log equal constant. Second equation we will check. We have log here, here is log and here is log. We have each term is with log. So we will count this equation is as log equal log equation and we will follow steps for that. What about next one? We have natural logarithm ln that means we have natural logarithm it doesn't matter we have uh, log log or ln we have same steps to uh, solve logarithm equation so we have ln and we have ln so this equation is also we have log equal log so what you will say for next one it's log equal log or log equal constant all right, so write in a comment, it is log equal log or log equal constant. Let's see, here is log, here is log, and here we have constant. So we have, we will count as log equal constant. And last one, we have each term is logarithm. So we will count as log equal log. All right, so we learn how we will decide it is log equal log or log equal constant. Let's see next question here. We have question number one. We decided we have log equal constant, right? We have one term with uh, constant, it's just number. So now we will follow rules for log equal constant. If we have log equal constant, my step one, we have to keep all logarithm term on one side and constant on other side, we have already. So next we will make single log on one side. So how we will make single log, we need to remember that three properties of logarithm. If we have multiplication, we will add argument. If we have subtraction, that means we will divide this argument. We must remember that rule, right? What rule we have, I can write it up here. We have log x minus log y equal log x over y. So this count as single log, right? So see we have minus sign in between. So we will just divide this argument. So we will say log 3x square divided by three equal two. So now we have single log, right? What is my base here? If I don't see anything, that means we have basis 10, right? Once we will make single log, then we have second step is you will write in exponent form. So you will memorize one example and you will just follow that we knew two cube is eight, right? That is in exponent form. How we will write in logarithm, we have base is two here. So we have base two, argument is eight, 
and exponent is 3. So we have this part. We need to write in exponent form. So first thing, see what is base? Base is 10. Exponent. So we have exponent is 2. And whatever argument, that is your answer, 3x squared over 3. So now we can just solve for equation, right? So for variable. So you need to follow three steps. So first thing we have 10 squared is 100 equal 3x squared over 3. We have fraction and also we can see here, we can reduce this, right? So now we have 100 equal x squared. We have quadratic equation, we have perfect square. So we can do square root on both sides. So we will get x equal plus or minus 10. So 10, positive 10, be good, we don't need to check. But if we have negative 10, we need to go back to original equation and plug in argument. So here we will see if you plug in negative, negative 10 here for this x square, negative 10 square, it will become positive 100. So we will be good here. If you plug in in original equation in argument and it will end up with negative argument, then that number is not a solution. So here we have two answers, okay? All right. So make sure you have also note and pen to write these notes, okay? I'm giving you steps, so you must write down these steps so you can follow on any example of logarithm uh, equation. So here we have log equal log equation, right? We have log equal log equation, right? So let's see. We have log equal log equation. So we have each side we have log, right? So what is my steps to solve this equation? We will make a single log on both sides. So again, we have minus sign here. That means we will just divide this argument, right? Log x over 2 equal log. On uh, right-hand side, we have already single log. So once we have single log, we will check what is base for both sides. We don't see anything. That means we have base 10. Okay, so now we have step two. If we have same base, let's say we have base is u and here we have x. We have base is u and here we have y. So then we can just compare argument. We can say x equal y. So we, we can say here we have same base 10 and 10. So x over two equals 17. So now you can just solve for variable. Whatever variable you have. So we have fractions, so you can just multiply by two on both sides. So x equals 17 times 2 is 34, and that's it. Look at this, how easy this logarithm equation is. All right, let's see next one. So now we have rules. We remember that rule. We have each term, we have log equal log, right? So first thing, what is my step one? Write in a comment, what is step one? You remember that? Check. What is step one? Make a single log. Again, here we have minus sign, right? We have same rule for natural logarithm and analogy log. So we have minus, so we will divide this argument. Five over four minus four x. 
equal ln33. Once we have single log, then we will compare, we will check we may have same base here. If we have natural logarithm and we have ln, that means automatically your base is e. So once we have same base, we can just compare this argument. Look at this argument we have. We will just compare that and make equation from here. So five over four minus four x equal 33. Now, what is next step? We have simple equation, so we will solve for variable. So we have fraction, right? Whenever we have fraction, we will just multiply by common denominator. We have here one fraction. So we will multiply by four minus four x. Four minus four x. So we can just cancel this factor. Now we have five equal 33 times four minus four x. We can use distributive property. So five equal, we will get 12 and 13. 132 minus 132 X. Then we can solve for X. So we will subtract 132 on both sides. So now you will get is negative 127 equal negative 132x. And then we know we have here multiplication, so we will divide by 132 on both sides. So we will get negative over negative is positive, 127 over 132, and that is final answer. All right, everyone is writing notes for this. All right, let's see next one. So here, what type of equation we have? What type of equation we have? Log equal, log equal constant, right? So we will follow that steps. Everyone wrote it up those steps. So you can follow that. We have step one is we will keep all logarithm term on one side and constant on other side. That step already we have done. So next step, we will make single log on one side here. We have again, we have minus. So we will divide this argument. Log base eight, we have x squared minus one over three equal one. Once we have same, I mean, once we have single logarithm equal constant, next step is write in a exponent form. So what is exponent form? Example, remember two cube is eight. We need to write in this form. We can write in logarithm is the basis two, argument is eight and exponent is three. So exactly same example we will follow. So base is two, here base is eight. What is exponent? So exponent will be here, see we have three, that is exponent, right? So we have one is exponent here. Equal x squared minus one over three. And next step, we have simple equation. So we will solve for variable. So here we will just multiply by three on both sides. So eight times three is 24 equal x squared minus one. And then we will add one on both sides. So 25 equal x squared. We will do square root on both sides. So we will get plus or minus five. Now what we need to remember we have x is 5, that's good, but x is negative 5. We have to make sure, we have to plug in back and check we will get argument end up with positive or negative. We have x is only here. We have x is only here. 
So negative five square is positive 25, so we good. We will not end up with negative argument. So we have this both answer, okay? Let's see, next one. We have, what type of equation we have? Log equal log. So step one is make single log, right? We have minus here, so we will divide argument. We have 4x over 5. Equal log 8, 39. So we have same base. So what we can see, we will just compare this argument. Just this argument. So we will have 4x over 5 equal 39. Now we can solve for x. So we can multiply by 5 on both sides. So 4x equal 9 times 5, 45, 15 plus 4, 19. And then you divide by 4. You can keep your answer in fraction form or you can convert in decimal. If you will convert in decimal, what you will get, four times four is 16. Um, so four left over, no, three left over, and four times eight is 32. So 32, three left over, 75. 48.75 and that is either one you can give answer all right so i'm pretty sure everyone remember your steps right if you like this um video please subscribe my channel write in a comment and please hit bell icon so you will get notification uh, and if you are preparing for pre-calculus or calculus uh, epic calculus uh, please check my website and there is more information i'm doing tutoring uh, from kindergarten through calculus i have promotion right now i'm running for school opening uh, it's 10 percent off for your tutoring and also there is a free skill assessment and 30 minutes free first session Thank you very much. Um, good luck for your school year. I'm pretty sure everyone will do great and write down your steps. Write down in a comment what video next you want to watch.